Hello everyone. A few days ago, I was on a Wi-Fi network where torrenting was banned, and uh, so I searched on the inter- on Google for ways to uh, convert a torrent file into a direct download link, and there were many third-party sites, but but most of them were paid and not that good. So after tinkering a little bit, I found a way to download a torrent file directly into Google Drive. And from Google, and from, then from Google Drive, we can download it directly to our computers at higher speeds, and uh, there will be no problem for seeding, and uh, your bandwidth will be saved. So I thought uh, this will be a cool, cool topic to make a video on. And uh, although others have discovered this method before me, and there are some blog posts around it, but uh, this video is is for a special subscriber on a special request you know who you are so let's get started uh, first of all we need to go to collab google collab is basically they provide us a um, linux machine um, and a jupyter notebook interface where we can uh, run python code but we can also run Linux command commands. So we will use this command line utility called transmission CLI to down and uh, they give us uh, around uh, 100 GB of disk space. So this is how the screen looks when we first go to golab.google.com. So we need to create a new Python 3 notebook. and uh, let's wait for some time for it to load then so where was i so basically we will first download um, the torrent file using transmission cli into collab and uh, then we will uh, move it to google drive uh, let's connect to a runtime so here you can see uh, it is we can browse the files and uh, each collapse session will expire in about 12 hours so that's enough for us to experiment and do our work you can also change the runtime from here like uh, we can get access to a pretty good gpu but uh, we don't need that for this particular use case uh, so here uh, it is connected to a runtime here we can see our ram and disk uses usage uh, let's mount our google drive okay connect to google drive it will take some time uh, okay so our drive is mounted at this drive folder and all my drive files are available here so let's install transmission CLI first of all and we can run this uh, code cell by using shift enter um, so it is running and for this tutorial I will uh, show you how to download uh, the Ubuntu ISO so let's grab that that's it's uh, torrent file from while it is installing transmission CLI okay I need to grab this Ubuntu 19.8 I think transmission CLI is installed uh, we need to upload the torrent file we downloaded to that collab runtime so this is our torrent file I will upload this it's getting uploaded so here it is now we just need to and I am using a exclamation mark to run commands that are outside of uh, python notebook if you are familiar with Jupyter notebooks then you know what that means Transmission CLI and the uh, location of 
and basically the name of the file so we can right click on this and we will copy this path and let's put this in quotes because suppose if there are any spaces that's it uh, press shift enter and uh, by default transmission CLI downloads uh, in uh, the current usernames download directory so we can access that by using uh, uh, we can see that currently our username is root and in downloads here you can see this ISO has been downloaded and here is the progress <laughs> so uh, right now my net is it is not using our internet and uh, it is downloaded downloading using drive um, Google's Google servers <laughs> so let's wait for some time I will pause the video and continue once it's downloaded now right now it's 30% by the way it won't take uh, much time so still okay download is about to complete we are at 98 percent ninety-nine point nine okay don't get stuck at ninety-nine please okay it's it is it has completed downloading and now it is uh, it started to seeding seed the file but we don't need to seed it so we can stop the execution of this code cell by clicking here okay so it's downloaded 100 percent now we need to move this file from uh, slash root slash downloads to our google drive which was basically in content folder by default so in content in so i need to move this file from here to my drive uh, we can use mv command for that so mv uh, i will copy path for this paste that to the drive folder so copy path and paste it and run that it won't take much time okay so I think it is successful. Let's refresh this and see it visually. Wait a minute. I think I this was not copied because I think I copied this dot torrent extension one. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay, right now, now it is, it is the correct path to my drive. Okay. We now, we moved the wrong file. What was the size of the file by the way? I don't remember. Come on. Oh. Now let's refresh it. So it is not in the downloads folder anymore. And if we look here, here it is. It's 2.29 GB file and it took barely 5 minutes to download it to Google Drive. Let's go to our drive and just confirm it uh, if the file is actually there you don't need this tab anymore and we can so basically three lines of code first downloading transmission CLI then downloading the file and then moving it to Google Drive uh, I hope it is here. <laughs> here. 
there you go if you look at the info 2 gb file model and now from here you can download it and do anything you can share it with your friends and all so that's it for the video thank you